Welcome to Violet Dishes. My name is Violeta and today I'm going to share with you three important pieces of information concerning the Remington Shine Therapy, CI53W Curling Wand. Watch carefully till the end as number three is crucial to providing you with long-lasting curls and saving you both time and energy. I'm going to share with you the following. Number one, my review of Remington Shine Therapy Curling Wand. After over two years of constant use, number two, I will show you how I style my hair with it. And number three, I will show you exactly what I do to prevent the curls from getting ruined by sleeping or by showering so that you and I can enjoy shiny curls for days. Right now I am rocking second day curls, by the way. You will probably notice that I have several pieces that are not that spirally. This one, for example. Just look at the difference I have between the two pieces in the front. That's because I made a mistake with the piece on my right which turned out to be a good thing because now I get to show you the difference and explain what went wrong and hopefully you won't make that mistake but more on that later I have been using the Remington Shine Therapy curling wand like crazy for over two years now and I figured out a quick and effective way to style my hair with it and whenever I do this, I get lots and lots of compliments on my hair and people are always asking me how does it stay that curly for days. I used to be that girl who couldn't figure out how to style her hair with some hot tool. I know how frustrating this can be. This is why I want to show you exactly what I do to get 3 days of shiny spiral curls. This curling wand is amazing. I absolutely fell in love with it and I'm sharing my thoughts and experience with you because I want everyone to be able to enjoy themselves styling their own hair at home, especially now when it's crucial for us to stay at home. I will show you the exact tricks I use to achieve these curls and to keep them last for days. Honestly, I feel like most people are using conical ones wrong. Let me show you what I mean. This is a conical wand. You can see that it's thicker here and goes slim in the end. So most people will try when they curl their hair, they will try to keep the hair maximum here on the thick part. And that does not give you the best result. What I found gives you the best result is when you grab a section, it might be thicker than that, it might be thinner than that, it might be just like that, that's a normal section. And you place a... The curling wand is now cool. You place the wand around eyebrow or cheekbone height, depending on what you want. This is a short piece, so I'm gonna go close to my eyebrow and I will wrap it once, the thick part, to create a volume here on the top of my head and then I will aim to reach the thin part so that I get a nice spiral curl in the end. I will wait for maybe 10 seconds then I will of course using the glove I will get all of this in my hair in I will get all of my hair in my hand slide out the curling wand and hold it a bit so that it cools a bit and then gently let it go this in my opinion gives you the best results when you're using a conical wand keep watching till the end and you will get lots of tips and tricks like this one i own several hot tools most of them are by remington however those from the shine therapy series are by far my favorites if this video does well i will make videos for the other shine therapy products i own so give it a thumbs up if you want to help creating those videos the universe will be grateful my hair is bleached and most hot tools leave it feeling dry however the shine therapy ones are infused with moroccan argan oil and argan oil is my hair's best friend so whenever i use the shine therapy hot tool my hair feels soft and silky definitely not dry 
And the style seems to last even when I sleep with my hair down, but let's be honest, why would you spend all that time styling your hair if you then just allow it to get ruined during the night? No, I don't do that. If you do the trick that I'm going to show you at the end of this video, you can make your style last longer. So make sure to watch till the end to get the most out of this product. Okay, this is the curling wand. It comes with a glove and with a case. You can use the case even when the wand is hot, I believe. You can see that I've used this glove a lot. It's burnt on the fingers. I recommend that you always use a glove when styling your hair with hot tools, not just to protect your skin, but to actually have the bravery to touch the wand and your hot hair with your hand, because you're going to need that. You're going to need to hold the hot curl in your hand for several seconds before you let it go, if you take big strands. The wand gets hot real quick. It does not have a display that shows the temperature, but I use the heat settings. I place it around the middle and now let's see how long it takes to, to get hot once I start it. Okay, now that this blue light is blinking, that means that it's getting hot now. And when it stops blinking, that will mean that it's ready to use. So let's see how long does it take. Okay, 1 minute and 22 seconds and the wand is definitely hot, I wouldn't touch it. <laughs> you hold the button to turn it off. You can put it back in the case, well, it's still hot, it's okay. If I could do one thing to improve this wand, I would like to make it a bit longer so that it's easier for long hair to be wrapped. I will show you a trick for that too. My absolute favorite thing about this wand is how soft, shiny and spirally those curls get. Argano is my hair's best friend and to have it in the wand is amazing. Just some quick tips before the demo. Number one, you need to twist the hair as you wrap. Place the curling wand at the diagonal that you want your hair to go, so like that, like it's getting out of your face. And then curl the hair away from your face and twist as you wrap, twist as you wrap, like that. Start at the height of your cheekbones and use the thick part to create volume and then aim for the slimmer part. For the ends. If your hair is shorter, make sure that you reach the end. You may start lower on the iron, but make sure that the ends reach the thin part. Don't wrap your ends here on the thick part. It will not look that spirally. If your hair is long like mine, it may be hard to keep the hair on the wand. So, instead of placing the wand down and going down, you may actually hold the wand up. You can just wrap it around and then change the direction of the wand. Okay, enough telling and now let's get to showing. This is my natural straight hair and I am super sleepy. It was 1 a.m. but I was determined to film this video. I often do this, I style my hair in the evening and do the special bun I'm going to show you later so that I wake up with already styled hair. I am also watching a TV show to keep my spirits up. Okay, so you saw me spraying some heat protectant oil and I just take the first piece of hair that falls in front of my face and I combed it with a tiny comb. I start around the height of my eyebrows and I wrap only once around the thick part of the curling wand and then aim for the slim end to get the spiral in the end. I wrap the hair away from my face and I twist as I wrap. I wrap all the way till the end and then hold it for around 10 seconds, then 
carefully let go of the curl in my hand and just hold it in place for several seconds before I let it go and then I leave it alone and I let it cool. Then I like to mirror that first curl on the other side. It took me forever to do my eyebrows and then it got super late but I just knew that I would be super disappointed the next day if I didn't film the video. So I did everything I could to keep myself entertained. I really enjoy curling my hair while listening to an audiobook or watching a TV show. It feels calming and relaxing even at 1 or 2 am. Again, I take a small piece and comb it with a little comb. I start around eyebrow height, wrap one around the thick part of the curling wand. I twist the hair as I wrap and I aim for the slim end. And I always, always wrap away from my face. So I continue curling my hair piece by piece and watching the TV show. No rush. I took my time and I took small sections but you can take bigger sections. To get the spiral ends you just need to make sure that your ends are nicely twisted and wrapped around the slim part of the curling wand. my whole hair is super shiny and spirally I'm going to not touch it and just let it cool 
Once my hair is completely cool, I just shake it. And I tussle it a bit with my fingers. Since I'm going to bed now, I'm going to show you the overnight bun. That will protect your curls. Since I forgot to press record, here is me several days later. I curled my hair again. Please ignore my makeup. It was an experiment and it failed. For the security bun, you need to make a high ponytail on the top of your head, just in the center, so that the weight of your hair is evenly spread on your head. Then you need to loosen the ponytail a bit and just make sure that it feels comfortable and it's not pulling your hair, because you're going to sleep with that. I find spiral hair ties most comfortable for holding the pony on the top of your head. Once you have the ponytail, since you curled all of your hair away from your face, the hair on your left will want to go to the left and the hair on your right will want to go to the right. Allow it. Now twist one half away from your face and wrap it around in a bun. The twist should be somewhat loose However, no ends should be sticking out. Any ends that are sticking out are going to get ruined either by you sleeping at night or definitely by the steam in the shower. Twist the end really well and use bobby pins to hold it in place. You can see that I am sewing into the hair with the bobby pins. That sewing really makes the bun stable and the weight of the hair is more evenly spread on your head. Now we do the exact same thing on the other side. Twist and wrap the hair away from your face and bobby pin it by sewing into the hair. Remember that the ends of your hair should be nicely twisted and wrapped into the bun. You may loosen it a little bit more if you want to and make sure to test the bun. When you shake your head it should feel comfortable, there shouldn't be any single place that you can feel the bobby pin is pinching your head or pulling your hair. And now we can finally go to bed. So good night and I'll see you tomorrow. And a new day in my life has begun. It's not exactly morning as it took me almost forever to do my eyebrows this time. Not much has changed as you can see. I just added some decent makeup and some hair clips to hold those pieces that got out during the night so that they don't get wet in the shower. Let the hair go and give it a gentle shake. It's time to spray some dry shampoo in the roots this one is my favorite by Batiste and it has a tropical scent. It doesn't make my roots feel dry and heavy. Creates volume and leaves a fresh sensation. Massage the dry shampoo into the roots. Just look at how big my hair is. I add some hair oil in the ends. Now is the time to talk about that non-spirally piece on the left side of my face. The second time I curled my hair I made a mistake. I didn't get it on camera but I can explain what went wrong and hopefully you won't have that issue. What happened was that I accidentally let go of the piece while I was curling it and it got not that spirally but a bit wavy which is okay that happens a lot my mistake was that straight away i took it and i wrapped it back on the curling wand and i 
overcooked it and it doesn't look good and it doesn't feel good so what I should have done is I should have just curled all of my hair and let it cool completely and then if I feel like some piece needs improvement I had to comb it with the tiny comb apply hair oil and then style it with the curling wand again so if you happen to drop a piece a little too early and you don't like the shape but the hair is still hot just leave it alone don't touch it finish your hair you will probably not even notice where that piece is once your whole hair is completely curled that piece looked so much better before i tried to fix it However, if when you have curled all your hair and all your hair is cool, you feel like you need some improvement on any piece, I recommend that you comb it with the tiny comb, apply hair oil and or heat protectant and then use the curling wand to restyle the piece. Let me know in the comments below. Do you want to see more Hot Tools videos from me? I love styling my hair while listening to audiobooks. I find it so relaxing, it almost feels like therapy. If you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. That will help the video reach more people. If you want to see more from me, click the subscribe button. And if you want to be 100% sure that you will never miss a video from me, hit the notification bell and YouTube will notify you every time I upload a new video. However, if you can't wait to see me again, just click on any of my videos. I'll see you soon. Bye!